we had a smaller building cell last year that we did the or sorry last month that we did the analysis on and it was a new build so I thought I'd take a look at something a little bit different and there was a building that sold that had 16 units in it and it was in west central Ottawa so that's a little bit unusual in itself that it was you know such a large building and it sold for five million four hundred thousand okay 16 unit building five million four hundred thousand you'll see on the screen says that it was not fire retrofit I find that odd in a building that size but anyhow that's what the MLS system said now the scheduled rental income on that was two hundred sixty four thousand dollars and I'm gonna round off some of these numbers so I, I, I don't bore you to tears with too many of them and when we uh, deduct for um, uh, vacancy and bad debt it gives us an ERI of two hundred fifty seven thousand dollars now the operating expenses on the building were about fifty three thousand and the total operating expenses were seventy eight thousand dollars the net operating income on the building was one hundred and seventy eight thousand which gives us a cap rate of three point three percent now that's um, a little bit on the low side so obviously people saw a great value in the property uh, the operating expense ratios were about 30 percent which is on the low side which is good that's what you want in terms of how much is sold compared to its gross income it sold for 21 times the gross and 30 times the debt not a big surprise when you see such a high or sorry such a low cap rate uh, you, you would expect it to sell for those kinds of multiples times the gross and the net um, now if we follow a basic rule of thumb again rule of thumb it's not it's not uh, the final uh, word in anything but if we have a 35 percent down payment which represents one million eight hundred ninety thousand dollars gives us a mortgage on the property of about three point five million so that gives us an annual debt service that's how much the individual would pay in mortgage payments over the course of a year at the rate of uh, three percent by the way so anyhow the annual debt service is almost two hundred thousand dollars so we know what the NOI is we now know what the annual debt service is and that gives us a negative annual cash flow of twenty one thousand dollars and obviously that's going to give us a negative ROI of a little over one percent so my thinking is that whoever bought the building probably went in with more than 35 percent down payment uh, but those are the numbers if you have any questions give us a call thank you